access is a big part of subject choice as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, Julia, in your case, you were dealing with this uh, Chinese entrepreneur who gave you extraordinary access, even when he was going through some rocky times. Can you talk about navigating that relationship? You know, I live in Dayton, Ohio, and it's, you know, kind of known as like a blue collar place that has a great history of invention and, you know, a great history of manufacturing and so forth. And I think that's partly why the chairman, Chairman Zhao, uh, chose Dayton as where he was going to have his American factory. And I think he chose that General Motors plant. You know, the General Motors plant was where uh, we, we had made an earlier film, my partner and I, called The Last Truck, closing of a General Motors plant like 11 years ago. And really, it's kind of a mega story, that film, the closing of the plant, the leaving of the American capitalists, and then the coming of a Chinese capitalist to our town to offer jobs to people. So access, I think the chairman was proud that he was doing that. I felt he was, he was bringing jobs to our community. He was going to produce high-quality glass. It's one thing to get access. It's another thing to get trust. Mm. Two different things. And I think the reason we got the trust of the American blue-collar workers is because they had all seen the last truck and they knew that we understood their journey and we had followed it for 10 years almost at that point. The chairman um, could see we could make a good film. He saw it was an Oscar nominee. I think he thought, these are my guys. And once the chairman said yes, you know, it's... It's a Chinese company, privately owned, so everybody had to say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so even though there were some uncomfortable meetings around tables like we are right now, where people said things that, you know, they might have been made uncomfortable by, they had to go, you know, the chairman said yes. Mm -hmm. And he never took back that access. I think it's interesting that several of our films examine power, mm -hmm. the nature of power. Yours very directly. I mean, you, your main character says you have to be willing to strike and hit to get power. I mean, Imelda clearly uses her manipulative abilities to gain power, and she brings her own family in. You see the power of propaganda, which is phenomenal in your film. And I, even in our film, in this small little factory, um, you see the power that those jobs, that plant, has over people's lives. You know, you see the power of uh, w what's going on in our country, capitalism-wise. Like, you see people's being beaten down. You know, workers who made a living wage no longer can do that. Workers who want a union, the powers that be keep that from happening. I'd like to hear about the editing room for you. What was that process like? I will say we have, my partner Jim Klein and I edited our first films together, and then Steve Bognar and I edited those films together, although Steve was definitely the lead editor. So all the films, we have never had an editor. Mm -hmm. We were very lucky to have the support of participant media, so we could actually hire an editor which had, we would have never been able to do before in that sense. So we actually were able to hire the editor, whose name is Lindsay Utes, and she is a fabulous editor. She would sometimes see a scene, like there was a worker who gets injured, Bobby Allen, and he comes back to work after being away for like six weeks with a really bad injury. And you know, it's another day and we're, we're there and we're filming him coming back. And she's sitting at the editing table crying Right, because she sees the emotion of the workers welcoming him back, poking at his belly that he, that he had developed. This scene is not even in the film, but the working class camaraderie and warmth at bringing him back. She was sitting at the, at the, in front of the thing crying. Now, I would have never, ever thought that. I would have never seen the emotion in that scene. So Lindsay brought a verite sense and a big tune into the emotion of the, uh, of the scenes, which we knew in our film we needed. Uh, I don't think we could have edited that film ourselves the way it is. I think it was a tremendous collaboration. Yeah.